Hey Rifters, I'm going to show you guys how to make a look to fly game, meaning the direction you look in is the direction you'll fly in. If you're not familiar with Unity or the Oculus uh, integration, go ahead and click on the link in my description and watch my first video. It will bring you up to speed with where we're at. It's only seven minutes. Okay, so I have this scene, and if I press spacebar, I'll begin flying. kind of feels like being strapped to a rocket. It's really fun. Alright, let's get started. Open up Unity. We're going to do a new project. We'll call it Look to Fly 2. This is my second one. We need to import some packages for this project. We want to do skyboxes, terrain, and some basic water. First thing, delete the main camera. We don't need it because our Oculus Prefab will have a camera in it and they don't get along with each other. Next, add game object, 3D object, terrain. And we're going to use the terrain tools to build some mountains. This is the raise tool. Here you can change the brush size and the opacity. So we're just going to make some quick mountains here, some hills. The opacity. If you want to lower the hills, hold shift. And you can lower things. This evens and flattens things out, so you can make mesas. This will smooth out areas that you have that are jagged. This tool will allow you to paint textures. Right now we don't have any textures to paint so we need to add them. Click edit texture, add texture, come in here. And Unity has two default textures, grass, add it. And then come and do the same thing for rock and grass. If you wanted to get more textures you can come to the internet, type in dirt, save a dirt picture, import it into your assets, and then you can add it to the textures the same way. So we're going to come in here and paint in some more texture and make it look a little bit better. I like to come in with a real low opacity and then start to paint in textures. It blends things better. That way you don't have uh, so much of a repeating pattern. Uh, mine's kind of bad here, but you can take your time uh, with like five or ten different textures, come in with really opaque brushes, and uh, get rid of all the seams and repeating patterns so it looks nice. This next one will paint trees for you. So we need to add a tree. Unity comes with this palm tree by default. You can change the brush size, the tree density. If you wanted to get a different type of tree, you could model your own or download one from the asset store. Next, let's show you how to add some water and we'll make a little basin here for that. So we're going to add some water in here. Come to standard assets, water, daylight, drag it out here, make it a little bigger, and we need to bring it down, and then we have a little bit of water, a little puddle. Okay. Next, we need to set up the flying mechanics. So we're going to go game object, create empty, and we're going to name it flyer. Next we need to import the Oculus package, go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and find the folder containing the Oculus Unity integration that you downloaded from the Oculus developer website. Import it. Once that's imported, you're going to go to its prefabs folder, 
and add the OVR camera prefab to the flyer game object. Next we want to give our flyer a physics. So to do that, go to add component, physics, rigid body. And we don't want our uh, player to have gravity because they're just going to be flying around like they're strapped under a rocket. So we're just going to take that off. And then we want to freeze the rotation. That way if we run into an object or a hill, our body isn't going to go all ski wampus and start uh, rotating uncontrollably. Next, we're going to add the script to control the flying. So right click, create C sharp script. We're going to name it flying. And instead of typing everything out, uh, I'm just going to paste it in here. I'm going to leave in the description um, the code so that you can do the same as well. And then I'll explain one by one what each uh, part of the code does. So I've pasted in here. In, in the class, you're going to just delete the update method and the start method and paste in the code I've given you. And we need to make sure that there's not any errors in the code. So to do that, come to build, build assembly C sharp. And you'll notice that we get all these errors. Uh, for some reason, uh, the project settings need to be set on mono.net 4.0. So to do that, you need to go to project, assembly C sharp options, general, and mono 4.0. For some reason, uh, 3.5 conflicts with some of the scripts in the Oculus package. So just change that, click build, and now we can see we have no errors. The warnings are uh, something to do with the Oculus package as well. But it's okay, they're just errors and it's not going to hurt anything. So once we've built our script, we want to attach the flying script to our flyer. So come here, add it to flyer and we're good. Next thing we want to do is in our script you'll see here that we created a public variable called oculus left eye. Uh, we created this so that we could have access to the current rotation in real time of the oculus prefab. So to do that we just drag our left eye into this spot here and now in our script we'll have access to the uh, current uh, rotation of the left eye and then we'll know which direction to rotate you. So let me explain the flying script here for a second. The rigid body, you can see that in the start method, and again the start method is ran once at the beginning of the scene. So at the beginning of the scene we're saying RR, this rigid body, is equal to the component attached to this game object. You can see here, this is the, these are components. This is the transform component, this is the rigid body component, and this is a script component. So now we have access to the physics of our flyer through the script. Here we have some variables for the forward speed, which can be changed here because I've made it public. You can come here and change the uh, forward speed of your flying, or change it in the script as well. We have rotation speed. We have some variables to hold the rotation of the Oculus prefab. And we have a Boolean to say whether or not uh, you should start flying. So in our update method, which is ran every uh, frame, we want to say if the key space is pressed, then start equals true. And then we're going to say, if start equals true, run the method flight mode. And this is where all the magic happens. Our method flight mode takes the current rotation of the left eye of the Oculus prefab. It gets the X rotation, the Y rotation, and the Z rotation. It assigns them to a vector named axis. And then we tell our object 
to rotate using the transform.rotate method. And we're going to tell it to rotate towards our axis times time dot delta time times rotation speed. Last thing you need to do is give the rigid body a velocity. So we're going to say rr dot velocity equals the oculus left eye dot transform dot forward which is the forward facing direction of your oculus prefab times the forward speed. Last thing, come click on the flyer object wherever you want to have the player start. Uh, get in the right position, choose flyer, game object, align with view. And now this is where we're going to start. And we want to add our sky. So to do that, click edit, project settings, sorry, render settings, skybox material, and choose one of the skyboxes uh, that you had imported. I like this one. It's got a nice look to it. We're going to add a directional light for the sun. it let's see let's see where the sun is coming from so we want to get over here like as if we're the sun and we're gonna align the directional light like that awesome let's go ahead and test it out real quick press play all right we can look around and as soon as we hit space we begin flying awesome so go ahead and test it out for real build and here we go. Time to fly. Hope you guys have fun with this. In the next tutorial, maybe I'll show you guys how to add bullets, maybe some tanks we can shoot at, other fun things. So stay tuned and subscribe. Bye.